Hey there, today's Steinberg quick tip video is on using track versions to create a number of different groove options for our project. The track version functionality allows us to come up with a number of ideas and not have to commit straight away to a specific idea in a track or a project. You may have noticed that I'm loading up the new Simon Phillips Studio Drums expansion pack inside of Groove Agent SE4. This pack comes loaded with patterns and grooves that Simon Phillips has played and recorded himself. It's simply a matter of finding the right groove, selecting the pad that the groove is on and dragging and dropping it over into the Groove Agent track in the project window. There's so many great grooves in here, but a really neat thing about Groove Agent is the ability to use the complexity slider to make a groove on a specific pad simpler or more complex. Again, when you find something you like, it's a matter of dragging and dropping it over onto the track in the project window. Now we can easily copy and paste this by going to the right hand side of the event and right in the middle there's a little square. So we pick up on this square and drag it over to the right and instantly Cubase copies the event. The great thing about this drum set is there's so many different grooves to choose from. So let's leave that one there and go over to the inspector on the left hand side, select track versions and select a new track version. Now you immediately all the information's disappeared from the groove agent track, but don't worry, it's still over there on the left hand side under track versions, name and version one. Now we're creating a completely new version that contains different grooves. Again, copy and paste. Now we can move in between the two different versions just by clicking on them. A really useful feature is being able to copy and paste from track version to track version. So I've got my range selection tool here and I'm highlighting a segment of the track version too. Now I've created a brand new track version and you'll see that that range selection remains as I cross over between version 2 to version 3. I can go back to version 2, hit Control C or copy, go down to the new version, Control V or paste and immediately everything within that range on version 2 has been copied over to the third version. If you'd like to add a fill you can get the range selection tool, highlight a segment, delete it find a fill that you like and drag it straight over onto the project window into the blank slot. Thanks to Groove Agent SE and track versions, putting together a whole entire drum track is really easy. And of course you don't have to lock into anything. At any point in time, you can change your mind.